So after that wonderful day one, now it's time to explore more on day two of Make Refresh Shenzhen 2025. So on the day two, my focus was clear that I will not be attending any satellite events, workshops or talks. I'll just be attending booths to explore as many innovative projects or products as I can. And with that dedicated focus, I started my journey of day two with the DF Robots booth. So at the DF Robots booth, we get to see a bunch of community projects like this AI bunny made using Unihiker K10 board by Mukesh. Later, we get to see this Dungi drift car which was based on Latte Panda Mu and ESP32. And currently, we can control it with the controller but it can also run machine learning algorithms on Latte Panda board itself to make it drive in autopilot mode. And the most interesting demo at their booth was this Vision LLM demo made using Latte Panda Sigma and it can take pictures every 5 seconds and later let us know what's in the picture using the text and also with the help of speech and everything here is running offline without internet. So let's try to test it out. Let me just stand still and let's see what it says. Yeah, you could try to... Uh, okay, the image shows individual sending sending. Yeah. The microphone and appears to be speaking and presenting something. Yes. <laughs> wow, this is, this is really good. Yeah. This is interesting. Later, after DF Robot, we landed on Lilygo's booth and Lilygo definitely got some really cool looking products in interesting form factors. Like this one was the T-Display P4 which is based on the Espressive ESP32 P4 chipset. Later, this one was T-Display K230 which looks the same but it is based on Kenrite K230 chipset and this also got the 4th generation of LoRa in it. Later, we get to see this unreleased product which is a LoRa based tracker with built-in solar panel to charge the battery. A really great device for hiking. Then, we also get to see this new and unreleased product which is T-Display SF which is based on the Sifli chipset and also got everything built in like LoRa, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in it. So this time, I really get to see a company that's not just dependent on the Espressive chipsets for their product. So after Lilygo, we landed on Tuya booth. And now before visiting Tuya, I know that Tuya is a popular brand into the home automation industry as they provide their hardware like chipset with the firmware and also the cloud platform for several different home automation based products. But when I explored their booth, I found something totally different. So this time they were promoting their own AI cloud platform called as Tuya Open. So now let's hear from them directly about what is Tuya Open. So uh, what is Tuya Open? So Tuya Open is a open source hardware project where you can uh, deploy like large language ChatGPT like AI models uh, integrating into your hardware devices. So you can do like uh, AI chatting with like a large language model or you can do like a vision based uh, AI integrations into your hardware. So it can really like sense your emotion and also like have like a, a more of like a visual understanding of like a sensory input. So it can uh, get your facial ex expression. So all of this sensory is like really deep integrated uh, between the hardware itself and the AI models. So everything here, it's like uh, working with uh, Tuya Open, it's open source. So it's deployable onto different target hardware and platform chipsets and devices. For example, uh, you have like a T5 series MCU. It's like a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, uh, module. And we also support uh, uh, like an ESP32. So if you have like ESP32 at home, you can just go onto our GitHub and okay. download the code and just play around with it. And currently we're also like working on uh, with a Raspberry Pi. So if you have like more scenarios with, with like high computation requirements with right. like a, uh, like a edge AI, right. you can also do like edge and cloud integration of like AI uh, hardware. 
So that was basically all about two year open and the best part which I like is this is supported in the ESP32 chipset as well. So we can take our ESP32 based hardware and put the firmware from two year I can use the two year AI cloud to make any AI based projects quite easily. Later, we also get to see this development kit from Tuya itself in which we were having a pet kind of thing to which we can do a lot of conversions with and not only that, as it also got a camera on the back, we can take the pictures of the food and the AI will analyze that food and we later we feed it to the pet. A pretty interesting development board to test out all the features of that AI cloud platform. After that, we get to see another working demo using that AI platform like an AI robot pet to which we can give voice commands to control the robot and also can ask vision based questions. Uh, 你好, uh, 向前走. Uh, okay. I said like uh, move forward oh, and this okay. one is actually uh, getting from the uh, large language model. Okay. So I wrapped the uh, walking forward to the AI okay. and the AI calls to it to okay. move forward. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, 你好, 涂鸦. 你好,涂鸦。现在看到什么? I was like asking... I was like asking what do you see right now? Okay. And and it was, it just responded like, uh, I, I see you have like handheld device on your hand. <laughs> okay. And so this one is like actually have the camera feed uh, feed right. to the large language model right. and interpret it okay. and do some reasoning. So the, the speech to text and text to speech, everything is it's, from it's, Tuya? Uh, yeah, from Tuya. Oh, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Nice. Yeah. It supports English as well? Yes, yes. Okay. So if you pair it with the English app, it would it would like automatically just like go into the uh, okay. English server. Yeah. Okay, understand. Yeah. Interesting demo, and not only that, we also get to see some commercial toys with the Tuya AI in it. So after exploring all these things, well, I will definitely going to try out Tuya AI Cloud Platform for sure, and maybe I'll make a complete tutorial video about how to use that platform and what kind of features is provided, everything on our YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out that particular video as well. Well, anyways, after two years, while moving here to explore other stalls, I met Lily from Seed Studio, who guided me to explore some really cool projects made by makers. So let's check them out one by one. So at first, we get to see this big torch kind of thing, which more or less looks like big light gadget from Doraemon. And this is a really cool project. So in this, we first need to scan a QR code which is about a particular location and once it's scanned, we can turn on the switch and it will project how far that location is from our current location along with the direction arrow. So by just following that arrow, we can reach to that destination. Well, I just totally loved this project. Later after that, we landed on another project which was basically a camera without a lens. Sounds weird, right? But let me tell you, this project won the grand prize in M5 Stack Global Innovation Contest 2025 and it definitely deserves it. So let me explain what's this project all about. So in this, you can point the camera to any direction and just hit the shutter button and it will do some processing and finally, we will get to see an image on the display and on the front, as you can see, we don't have any lens, rather we do have the M5 dial. So how this device is able to get the image? So well, let me explain. So what this product does is, as soon as we click the shutter button, it will fetch the current location with the help of built-in GPS. Along with that, it will also uh, capture the orientation with bunch of sensors built in and all the data will be provided to the Google Street View through the APIs and it will fetch the latest photo which was previously uploaded at this particular location in this particular orientation and that image will ultimately be downloaded into the device and will be displayed onto this display. So basically, it's kind of a past camera in which uh, you click the image right now but you'll get the image of that location from the past. Isn't that an interesting and unique idea? Well, I definitely like this particular concept. Well, anyways, now it's time to showcase you the last project which I explored in Maker Fair Shenzhen 2025. And trust me, this one is also really very interesting. So this is an AI-based VJ machine in which it can automatically generate the graphics that are synced with the music with the help of the AI by just giving the prompts for it. 
when it may sounds confusing right now so better let me show you with an example so i am at maker fresh engine and i found a really cool device called this ai vj machine a very useful and cool device for all the vjs and djs out there so what you do here is first of all as you can see right now it is playing this kind of uh, animation a graphic based upon the music well this is common this is not new but what new it is is we have a prompt website uh, a prompt uh, window where we can type any prompt for example i have uh, written as indian bollywood dance and when i press enter when i give this prompt to this ai machine and now slowly as you can see we got the new graphics based on the prompt that we have given quite smooth quite fast and all with the help of ai a really really attractive device uh, for all the dj and vj events and all the parties super cool like generating graphics using ai based on the music i really find it very interesting good job well what an amazing application of ai in a vj machine and i think that's what makers are like they come with a unique ideas by combining tech and art some time to get this ai vj kind of machine so that was the last booth which i explored and after that we gather at the spot for a group picture and with that we come to the end of the day 2 and also to the end of maker fair shenzhen 2025 well i genuinely love this event because it brings a lot of diversity at a single place and once again do let me know about which was one thing which you liked the most out of this complete day 2 video in the comment section and i will also share the best thing which i liked the most out of this day 2 event and i'll put it in the comment so you can check that out as well and yeah one more thing do in the like button if you really loved exploring the maker fair shenzhen through my camera as i tried my best to cover as many innovations as possible so yeah a like will be really appreciated and yeah do subscribe our channel if you want to see a lot of videos coming up uh, about the products which i got from china from this event and stuff like that so a lot of videos are definitely coming up soon on our channel which are quite interesting quite new quite fresh as well and yeah with that being said i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then let's explore learn share with me techie sms